Hey Lighthouse, trusted you well and just wanted to uh, give you a heads up about our time of prayer and fasting that we're going to be having for 2021. Uh, from Monday the 1st of February to Wednesday the 3rd of February, we're going to be praying and fasting as a church um, and uh, we're going to be meeting online via Zoom for a time of uh, waiting on the Lord, worshipping Him and praying to Him and committing our ways to Him in 2021. And so um, the reason we're going to be doing this is uh, we are wanting God's, God's kingdom to come and God's will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. We also um, are wanting to see the will of the Lord prosper in our hands in 2021. And so as the elders of Lighthouse to the Nations Church, we are asking the priesthood of Lighthouse to the Nations Church to join us for this extended time of prayer and fasting from breakfast on Monday morning until dinner on Wednesday night. You may ask yourself, why? Why are we doing this? And uh, the answer to that is we believe that uh, this is going to be another monumental and, and, and challenging yet fruitful year in the Lord in many ways. And we wanted to humble ourselves and position ourselves in such a way to access the Lord's presence and to ask for His mighty and gracious hand to be upon us so that we continue to walk in His ways and find His will for us corporately in individual 2021. I believe that as we humble ourselves and access His peace, provision, protection and power, we, we will be empowered by His grace to be the people that He has called us to be and to do all that He has prepared in advance for us to do in 2021. Remember Ephesians 2 verse 10, um, that you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to walk into the good things that He prepared in advance for us to walk into. What are we going to be praying into? Well, on Monday we'll be praying for His kingdom to be established in our families, in our children, in our friends, in our universities, in our schools, in our careers, in our jobs and in our businesses. Basically committing that area of the Lord of our lives to the Lord. On Tuesdays, we'll be praying for His will to be walked, uh, worked into the church and the various outreaches and ministries and the ventures that we'll be undertaking in 2021 as a church. And then on Wednesday, we'll be praying for Jesus' kingdom and righteousness to be established in our city, in our province, in our nation and the nations uh, in 2021. Now, we know that within the life of the church, there are many different people from many different uh, stages of life and many different walks of life and because um, of that we know that it's, it's important that you go before the Lord and find out the way in which he would want you to fast over these, these next three days. Can I make a few suggestions in this regard? For people who are unaccustomed to fasting I would like to suggest that you fast either one day, you fast for one day either partially or, normal, or, or doing a normal fast um, rather than trying to hit three days in one hit. There's a partial fast and, there's a, and then there's a normal fast. A normal fast is when you abstain from food for an entire day or for the entire three days and you drink only uh, water. Uh, a partial fast is you could abstain from solid food and, and only have liquid like soup or fruit juice. Um, another form of a partial fast is you cut out certain foods. Um, like a Daniel fast, you only eat fruit and vegetable. Um, other people that have got medical conditions that, 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 that require them to eat or pregnant people, then you may want to consider fasting some other stuff. I, I suppose the, con the point of fasting is that you're denying yourself and you're drawing aside from normal things to be able to uh, wait on the Lord and devote yourself to the Lord. I am going to send this document that I'm working off to you and also a document from Richard Foster's book called On a Celebration of Discipline where he gives us some excerpts about fasting. The point of fasting is not that it's a competition to compete with one another to see how hard we can fast. Okay. Um, the point of fasting is us drawing near to the Lord and calling on Him. Okay. The our focus is on Him and His Lordship on our lives. It's on prayer and worship. It's about us humbling ourselves and submitting our lives to Him afresh and anew. And it's about us asking Him to extend His grace and His mercy and His anointing and His guidance and His favor on and over our lives as a church in this next season so we can become the base church and the healing community that the Lord desires us to be. It's our heart's motivation and the attitudes of our hearts that is more important than physical outward activities that we can do at this time. 
So please, won't you commit yourself to the Lord and one another at this time and join us for an extended corporate fast as we do this together as a local church. Thank you so much. God bless you. All the best. Ciao.